everybody, Scale Crafty here again, TGIF. Uh, I'm making this video obviously a couple days earlier, so um, I hope that the hurricane has spared many of you the misery that these uh, storms do bring. And uh, I, you know, nobody knows better than me, especially with the, you know, an older house and big old trees in front of the house. You know, every time you you, you hear these storms coming up, I'm telling you, your stomach drops, you know, so uh, my heart goes out to you, anybody that's in the path of those storms, and, you know, I kind of look forward to a December and January when things calm down a little bit, you know, even the blizzards aren't quite as bad as these storms, these storms can wreak a lot of uh, havoc, so I hope everything went well for you, or are, are going to go well for you. Um, today we're going to uh, work on uh, Joe. You remember Joe's shop sent in that drill and uh, we are going to hit that drill. I already started, soaked it. Let's get, uh, let's take a look at what we okay, have. Next up we are going to uh, take a look at Joe's, uh, Joe's shop sent this uh, a while ago and, and it's a uh, one of those mini hand drill. I never seen one this small. It's like a jeweler's drill and I don't even know if this truck is original. You see it all it is is a wing nut that tightens up the uh, the jaws here. So that might be original. It looks, you know, but what we're going to do is it's totally frozen. You can see here, I mean, there's some teeth missing. Uh, we're going to try and make it operational if we can, but the first thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to dump this whole thing in vinegar and uh, we're going to have to leave it there for a while. So let's do that. One thing to notice, there is a crack here in the wood. Uh, nothing we could do about that. I'm just pointing it out. It is there before. Okay, we here we are two days later after two days and some scrubbing with the hand wire brush We're starting to make some progress real progress on this, huh? I got most of the rust off now Obviously, we're gonna have to try and disassemble it. It's frozen I mean, you know, and you can see there's still rust there in the in the cogs and stuff, but that vinegar does a good job. However, you can't leave it in too long because this like the pot metal or whatever this is made of will start to it'll start to eat that. So I had it in the uh, the baking soda for about uh, about 20 minutes to you know, and now I'm going to douse it down with 50 50 acetone and try and loosen this up and get this screw off first and then loosen this up and see if we can't get this moving. Okay, believe it or not, there's a lot of hours in this drill now. My goal was to get this drill operational, you know, just to make it uh, remember what it looked like before, right? So, uh, how did it all apply? Let's put it together. I'll show you how it runs. Okay, now here it is, and uh, we have it totally operational, like I said. Now, I don't know if this is the original kind of chuck, and it's, it's ingeniously simple. It's just a wing nut upside down that closes the collet around a drill and like i said it's ingenious in its simplicity uh look how this look how this works now ready look at that i have it so uh, lubricated and, and it's just uh, sweet now huh um all the teeth ground them down filed them down you know again we're not finished yet but uh, you know i don't know how far i want to take this but it definitely is Pretty cool, huh? You know, obviously this got to be painted, but there's some highlights. You got to think about what paint scheme you want to have. So this is it so far, and uh, I'm going upstairs and going to bed. <laughs> okay. Now I tried to research this drill, and I couldn't find any maker or maker's mark on the drill, but I did find this one on the uh, internet, and you could see that this did indeed have a small chuck. So we'll have to fabricate one of those on the lathe. Now, whenever you have anything round or domed, like this screw that holds on the drive gear to the drill, uh, one good way to uh, work on it is to put it into any kind of drill and just spin it against the uh, belt sand. It really makes quick work of getting that uh, nice, getting out all those years of uh, scratches and dings and dents, and they come out really well. And then you could do the same thing with the buffing pad on the buffer, and it will come out like a jewel. Okay, we finished up the project uh, about uh, 4 a.m. actually uh, last night or this morning, and uh, it was a job. It was a job. This has to be one of the uh, 
the biggest turnaround tools that I've done. And I just want to thank Joe again from Joe's shop for sending it over. And it's, uh, this was a, a, a challenge and it was also very rewarding. So, uh, I'm going to run some footage of what it looked like before and let's get to, ch uh, check it out done. Now, for most of us, if we were at a, uh, a flea market or a garage sale or something and saw something like this, even if it was a quarter, most of us would just put it down and say, nah, that's just a little bit too far gone. You know, we do restorations, but that's that, that needs too much work. And But I think Joe sent it over because he knew it would be a good challenge, and, and a challenge it was. But you know my favorite part. Remember what this drill looked like before we started. And we are calling this project done. Uh, like I said, this one was a big transitional part. And let's uh, let's take a look at, first of all, here's the chuck we made. And we made it just a simple chuck. Like uh, th What's so nice about this is this is a standard thread. It's quarter by 28. So it was very easy to just make up a, a little chuck here and, uh, and put it on. That closes the three jaws around the drill bit. Let's take a look at the, what we did here. We... Um, Painted the uh, traditional black on the spokes and on the outside here. Um, polished out, took out all the rust here. Look over here, polished out. Painted on the inside here black. Painted the bottom black like it is. But here, look at that. How nice is that, huh? So, actually now, if you were to see this at a flea market, you would never think that this came from the sea, <laughs> from the sea like it looked like it did. And look how smooth this works. Can you hear that? That is just so smooth. Let's try it out and uh, and see how it works. Okay, traditionally this is a jeweler's, uh, like I said, a jeweler's drill. And you would use this, you know, by putting your palm around here. And it has a little uh, indents here, or curvatures that you would grip around. And uh, traditionally what you would do is you would, again, let the drill bit do the work by spinning it over here, giving slight pressure. This is only made for smaller uh, wood. It's not really made for... Uh, any kind of heavy-duty drilling but you can see it does work well it, it's nice and smooth and uh, it does you know it would make nice clean holes and small good good for modeling and jeweling things like that so uh, it does work and it's back in service hey everybody again uh, thanks so much for tuning in hope you have a great weekend take care stay safe bye bye now